All right, guys, so I'm back here with the uh, chest up again. And today I'm going to be challenging Chef Magnus again on chess.com. And I will say, as I'll pop up on the screen now, is that I played, I was going to play some test games again against Chef Magnus, the 2000 version, and I beat it on my first test game. So um, um, once I really, as you can see by the graph here, once I really knew I was winning, I did not let up and I just knew I was winning at that point. So again, playing bias, I, well, you know, that's not rated for strength. The, the thing is that they're going to make mistakes, but you have to sometimes some mistakes they make are harder to see and take advantage of than others. But in this particular game, once, you know, I saw it very early on and just put my foot right on the pedal and just kept it pushing. All right. So let's go back. Chef Magnus here. I am going to play as white and challenge and let's go ahead and do it. All right. So, you know me, start with my uh, D4 move here. What's going on here? Okay. Let's see what Chef. Okay. I was thinking he was going to play G6, but it's still is going to somewhat equivalent, going to transpose to it. Probably he says going to play G6 at some point. Oh, okay. Okay, I have three. So you're playing sort of a Jababa London type move here. Yeah, he's playing a Jababa London here. And um, I think in my way, I just don't even like for them to go let them have night to see four here to be threatening this here so i just go ahead and play a3 is a bit slow i should just castle bring my knight out push his knight back but my knight i don't i don't i won't really like my knight on a3 so i might just go ahead and go here okay now i'll go ahead and castle okay C4 is on the menu here. Okay, yeah, I'll go C4 at this point. Let's see what happens here. Okay, he takes. Now, typically, knight is plenty of moves here that's even good. Knight to C3 is good. Um, that's a lot of moves that's good here, but I like to play Queen A4 here. I think that's a little testing for some players. So if you ever find yourself in this position right here, you play A4. It'll test your opponent just a little bit because it's a little bit easier. I'm not saying this body's going to go wrong, but it's a little bit easier for your opponent to go wrong when you play a4 versus playing knight to uh, c3 here. So queen a4 it is. Okay, so he hops in. All right. He wants to hop back and hold that pawn. Hmm. You know what? Instead of doing that, let's go this route here. I may just let him have that. Okay. Oh, interesting. Now that is interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so now I'm going to just go ahead and hop this knight in here. See how this goes. Queen takes. Oh man. Guess I'll have to take this knight. Let me see. Did it? Maybe he knows something I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical here. Maybe he didn't go wrong here. I am not entirely for sure. So knight takes. Of course. Hmm. Of course, I'm gonna go queen takes for sure. Yeah, I mean, I mean, our pawn takes queen because his queen is hanging. If I take his queen, he takes my queen. I don't think that's a good deal. All right, yeah, I think yeah, this is the best deal. I I I, I knew I was gonna take with the pawn. I just want to see. I just wanted to make sure there was no other better move. Now queen takes. Now, um, interesting crossroads here I 
I think I should just develop here. Let me see. Let me see. What can he do here? Because he'd be. Would he be down a piece? No. He, oh yeah, he would be down a piece. So he has it. He has to. Yeah. Let me move my bishop out. So he has to take the knight back. Okay. So he can do this. Oh, sneaky. Oh yeah, I could do that. I mean, that's still. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That is something, isn't it? No. I mean, of course I'm going to be up a piece. I'm just trying to make sure there's no other win. But of course I'm going to go queen takes queen. There's no other real move here. Yeah. Queen takes queen. Then I'm going to hop my... Okay, pawn takes... Pawn takes... And let's see here. I think the best thing to do is just back this knight up here. I got to get rid of one of these bishops here or make him trade something here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so not so bad for Mr. Magnus, I got to say. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this was a little bit different than I thought. I, I think I could have played this a little bit different. I could have played this differently, actually. But I st I, but this is still good to go. This is still A-OK -okay, um, good to go. So I'm going to take this pawn here first. No, because if I don't take, if I, if I take here. If I take here. Hold up. Let me think about this. I probably need to take this pawn here first because now in a second he's going to be threatening. Yeah, I see what he could be threatening. If I take here, then he comes over. Hmm. Yeah, in other words, if I take this pawn, he pull his bishop to uh, g7, then he'd be threatening two pieces. I have to bring my rook over, and he can still push this trade rooks. And I mean, I don't know if I really want to get rid of my rook. That's the whole thing here. That is the that's the philosophical question to be answered here. But this pawn has just got to go. I mean, there's no other. There's no other way to. There's really no other way to, to handle the situation. Though this pawn just has to go. But he's gonna. I don't want to trade my rook. That's the whole thing here. All right. But if I have to trade my rook, I, I'm trying to figure out how can I save this rook because of bishop to g7 here. Cause that is the issue at hand is bishop to g7 because if I take this pawn on b7 now and when he pull his bishop out say I won't have time to take I have to take this pawn if I don't take this pawn I'll be in a bit of a trouble I'll be in a bit of a bind and all honesty I may just have to I may just give him this knight back and go into a different um, end game here. I'm serious. I'm, I'm, I'm really considering that actually. And just win a bunch of pawns. Okay, so if I go here, I'm, I'm taking this pawn. That, that's just the end of that. Oh, he goes here first. Okay, I, I mean, that's not a good move, I got to say. That's really not a good move. Ooh. 
But where should I put my night is a question. I don't want to put it. Okay, let's go here. If I go here, check. I'm trying to no. If I go here, push. No, I got to be careful with this knight here. Because he, he wants to check on the back ring, and that's totally okay. I, I'm not, I'm, because he doesn't have a white bishop, so I don't really care. I'm going to bag this knight up to here. That's what I'm going to do. I, I, I know this might not be the greatest move. And like I said, I don't really worry about that check. If he had a white bishop, I'd be a little concerned. But being that he doesn't have a white bishop, I'm not concerned at all um, with, with that check. Okay, so now... Uh, Okay, now I'm seeing my bishop got a bad position here. So I may, if I can get my knight here. Okay. I just put myself in a really bad predicament here. So let's see, can we get out of this some kind of way we got going here? I know my pawn's gonna look a little ugly, but I gotta activate these pieces some kind of way. He goes here. And let's see, I should, let me see, knight, he can't threaten my, yeah, he can't threaten my knight just yet. Okay. That's totally okay. here yeah so uh, with that diagonal he has a really good i feel like i could have played this a bit differently here um i'm definitely gonna have to take this for sure without a doubt because i gotta be able to activate these pieces some kind of way here now should i take this pawn or not it is a pawn but the thing is is that i really have to get these bishops activated some kind of way and once he castles I, I mean, this this is this this is going to be quite problematic. Okay, so let me activate. You know, instead of taking this pawn. Let me see how many pawns, three, four, five. So, so I do need to equalize these pawns here. Because my idea is if I get my rook to c4, uh, block this uh, diagonal here, or make him trade the bishop somehow. Because if he gets behind this with the, with the, with the rook on c8, that might be a problem. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to take the pawn though. Then, if he castles, I'm going to go. Okay, now that's something. Did not quite expect that move, but. Hmm. If I take, go queen here, queen here, but he can castle, that's the only problem. So I'm not going to take that. I knew I should have took that pawn, but hmm.
take, take, hold on, I take, takes, pull my rook back, castle, come over here, pull this rook over, then I have time to move my knight, but do I need, have time, I don't have time to move my, to move anything to protect my rook is the issue here. Just give me, let me calculate this a little bit more. I'm thinking about taking, he takes back, I bring my rook back, he castles, I bring my rook over, but if he bring his rook here, you know, after he castles, see, I don't, I, it's not anything to be blocking this knight. So I think that I should not take, but I don't know what to do with my knight just yet. I'm going to have to move my knight here. Okay. Wow, that is amazing. Let's see here. Okay, let's pull our rook over and throw in this pawn there. If he takes that pawn here, just had two pass pawns, but okay, so he checks. Interesting. So that means I can step up now. Okay. Oh, don't forget this file here is open. This is done. Okay. So I'm going to have to move this guy here. So I'm going to have to. Move this knight here. I feel like Magnus has gone wrong here some kind of way or another. Well, I'm going to have to take that. I think Magnus has gave me an out here, at least for right this moment. Okay. I had to take that. At least for this moment, I have an out. I don't know what that exactly entails. So now what I need to do is, uh, first of all, let's just push this pawn here up. Let's go a little bit slow here. I think he might've gave me an out. Okay, so if he goes here now, I got to be able to get this bishop out. I'm going to move this over. I'm not going to move my bishop yet because I don't want him to get this rook over here to the A or the G file. And see, that's exactly why. So I'm just going to leave that in my pocket for right now. And we're going to just step up to here, get my knight in a better position here. He brought this queen back. And okay, so I do not want to. Let's see here. Let me see if I. I could activate my bishop though, because he can't get to the G file just yet. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate this bishop. He can't get to the G or the H file just yet with his rook. Okay, so he moves here. Okay, so now we could take this a little bit differently. Now I could go ahead and activate a little further here. Because now what I want to do is push my G pawn. Okay, now I want to push this G pawn now. So old buddy Magnus allowed me a little a little a little something here. 
Now, what should I do? I don't want to block my punk. I want to keep a mobile. I could go knight to uh, h5 check, but I don't really know what that does. I could bring my I could bring my king up to support those pawns. I think I will. I bring my king up to support the pawns. Because if he get behind me and check, I'm just going to pull my bishop back. Or either the knight. I'll probably pull the bishop back. Yeah. Okay. So he goes here. And just let me go here. See, now I'm about to get a, get a good attack in here. So now I could just hit a check right here. Win this pawn. Yes. Okay, so now I can just bring this here back. And that way I can see he's he's probably gonna he's probably gonna get mated. Here's what's gonna happen. Let me let me let me think about this a little bit. Cause if I go check, he's gonna go king to e5 maybe. That's okay, let's do that then. Yeah, if he goes at it, I'm gonna take the F part. Wow, this guy is really playing, I gotta say. I think I should check him first, yeah. If I check, no, to just push him forward. I'm gonna just take the pawn first. So now this this is gonna might be kind of easy. It just really depends on what what goes down here. Well, I should just push. That's what I'm gonna do. I just push. I'm not gonna really worry about. Uh, I'm just gonna bring. When well, I about bring that, he's gonna come back here. Well, I can come here. I know what I can do. So he can't he can't move that rook off the back line because I'm just going to keep pushing and that's just it. So I'm just going to... Oh, I see what he wants. That's quite all right. Pretty tough, I got to say. Oh, I know what I'll do. If he takes the pawn with check, I'm going to go knight to d3 check. Yeah. A counter check. This is rare occurrence here. To block a check with a check. <laughs> That's funny. So now he's probably going to, okay, so he steps forward. Okay. Reasonable. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and keep pushing. Okay. And... We are just going to hop back to, okay, I see he wants that check. Oh man, I can't let, I can't allow that. That'd be, that'd be pretty, um, pretty bad. Oh, I could just push the pawn though. Well, I could just go here and just not allow anything. Check. I'm just going to push my H pawn because, again, if he checks, I'm going to step up. No, I'm going to step to the side. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to step to the side. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to step to the side here. And now I'm going in with my um, rook on the F file. Okay. So with that said, what should be the best course of action? Should I push my pawn? How can I?
best handle this situation here. Because if I go in, he's just going to trade one rook for both of my pawns. I don't really want that. I think much more challenging would be for me just to push a pawn here. This would be a little more challenging right here, I think. So now if he takes, okay. I'm just going to take this. Then I'll push in to get a queen. Oh, okay, so he doesn't get, okay, fine. Yeah, I, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Okay, so let me just step up to here. I had to be real careful here. He does have two pass pawns. So, okay. And now, the Devoreski way to play this would be to... Well, for, first of all, let me do this first because those pawns ain't going nowhere. I'll stop both of those pawns. I'm not really concerned about that. Okay, there we go. Now... Let's see here. Let's take with the bishop, so that way we can get the bishop to the to the uh, G uh, eight to A two diagonal. Okay, so the devil risky way to play this would be put your rook behind the most advanced pawn. Okay, got that going there. That's the first thing we're gonna need to do. So the second thing we're gonna need to do is bring our knight here. Because I'm just going to trade my knight for both of those pawns. Just get that over with. Because there's nothing he can do here. Yeah. Yep. We're just going to go ahead and take this. Yep. There we go. That's it. Wow. That was tough. I got to say. Okay. That was pretty tough. Let me just get a little closer here. Block out my bishop. Because there ain't going to be no stalemating. If you watch my channel, you know I um, <coughs> lost to um, <coughs> um, Nemzovich. Not lost, but I drew a game because I blundered stalemate at the end. Okay. I'm just going to go over my king and rook. I'm not going to try to do anything fancy here because um, let me just move my bishop for a tempo here. Okay. That's all I'm going to do, move that for a tempo. He's almost got a stalemate. If I was the blunder, I'd, I'll show you it to you in a second. Here we go. I'll show you right now. I think he possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is possibly a stalemate. Now watch this. If I was to move my rook, say, for example, anywhere right now and set it down, that bishop right here covers the square and that would be stale to the mate. But because we are not going to do that. I'm going to just push my pawn. I'm just going to double check. Wow, that was amazing. We're just going to back up to here. Get a check. I'm going to go back in the corner and that will be mate. Wow, what a game. I got to say that was tough. I got to say that was uh, pretty tough. So, what I want to do is just do a quick game review real quick. I just want to see just what was accuracy and things. The accuracy that I know don't mean everything, but it's still just a good, I like to have it. I like to take a look at it just for a quick snapshot. So it wasn't, and I was okay. Excuse me. Okay. So I was winning early on in the game, as you can see here. And then I blundered, uh, I guess I missed win and went down. It was about equal. And then slowly I built back up and became into a winning game. I, he was, he had a draw. If you if you recall on this diagonal right here, he could have actually won 
you know, forced me to win a piece. I, I almost or either forced it in such a way that he would have had two pass pawns over here on this side of the board, which would have been enough to draw. I think it maybe even win in some cases. But anyway, um, accuracy of this game, 81 percent to 72 percent. Not that bad. I mean, that's, you know, could be better. But at the same time, um, playing a 2000 rated bot is pretty tough. It's a little different than a 2000 rated human. But anyway, there it is. Chess.com Magnus Chef Bot played on the chess up victory and there'll be more to come with this board. Please leave any comments. Please like, share, subscribe so my videos can be pushed out to people who need to see them. You all take care and I'll see you in the next one.